Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more type of prompt that is a few short prompts. So in our uh, previous sessions, we have seen uh, zero short prompts and one short prompts. So coming to the zero short prompt, we have seen just we are giving some instruction. So based upon that instruction, the AI model will completely depends upon the pre-trained knowledge and it will generate the output. But coming to the second category, that is a one shot prompt. So along with the instruction, we are also giving some example so that we are giving an idea to the AI model how we should produce the output. So still there might be an inefficiency, right? So, <coughs> so sorry. So for that purpose, we are moving on towards the third types of prompts. That is a few short prompts here that is similar to our uh, one short prompt. So along with the instructions here, we are also giving more than one example, right? So based upon that pattern, the AI model will generate the output. So few short prompts are the today's session. And here we are going to give an instruction plus multiple examples yes so a few short prompt means giving the a few examples of how you want it to respond before asking it to perform a similar task so it ha what happens if we give them few examples means it helps the model learn from patterns in your examples and produce more accurate and relevant results so it will analyze the input and output given by the user so that it will generate the output for the new input Right. So here you can see instruction followed by example one input plus output example two input plus output. So like that we can give uh, two, two examples or three or four or five examples. Right. So more than one example. Right. And perfect few short prompts should include two to five examples. As I said just now. So it should be greater than one. And it would be better if it doesn't exists, uh, exceeds of five examples okay and keep input output pairs are consistent so whatever the examples we are giving so we have to make that uh, input output pair as a consistent for all the examples and end with a new task for AI to follow the learned pattern so next we need to ask the question right the new input should be given at the end so it will be working for the text generation code math reasoning creative writing etc etc so hope you exam hope you understood right instruction plus few examples so let us take one example the recommendation or advice so here i am giving uh, two examples the question i want to read an essay science book suggest one and similarly i am feeling stressed suggest a relaxation technique okay so here i am also giving the answer how i am expecting so forget about this one just uh, apply the zero short prompt that means just i am giving this one right so that you can understand what is the importance of this uh, few short prompts so if i give this only instruction okay this is the only instruction right so that means no example this is similar to zero sh zero short prompt so if i give this one what i'll be getting let us check see recommended resources i'm getting a lot of resources so web3 resources similarly tutorials so some schedule it was giving some schedule and everything right very very huge information i'm getting what if i execute this one so i'm giving a few examples here and then finally i'm asking now answer the question i want to learn python quickly suggest a resource so instead of giving only one instruction, before that instruction, I am giving a few examples and now I, I will check. Let us check what we'll be getting. So we'll get only one, one sentence answer. See, learn Python the hard way by Jed A. Shah, a far, fast hands-on book for beginners. So because in this example, we are giving a two examples, that means input and output. Okay, two samples. So with that, the model will analyze the pattern and it will generate the output for the next question also 
so here we are giving the next question i am getting here so previously we are not giving any examples directly i am asking the question so that it will be giving a lot of information okay so hope you understood why we are going with the few short examples so we few short prompts because we are giving some examples to get the output according to the user perspective similarly let us move on with the second example that is a grammar correction so you want the model to correct a gram grammatical mistakes okay so incorrect and correct statements so these are the few examples i am giving and now correct the following and finally i am giving the question so uh, previously we have seen the things perfect few short prompts here see the third point is end with a new task so here also i am ending with new question so incorrect statement so i i have to get the correct one see incorrect she go to school every day correct one she goes to school every day example two incorrect he don't like apples correct he does not like apples incorrect they was playing football and correct is that they were playing playing football and now correct the following statement she were reading a book now i'll get the correct one based upon the previous example see the correct one is she was reading a book so this is how we we are expecting the output for this question right yes so let us go on with the third one categorization so if you want to classify types of animals for example see i am going I, i'll give the animal as lion so what i am getting i'll get a lot of information regarding lion right so very much information now i just want the category of that particular animal so see i am giving few examples so if i give the lion i just want the output as wild animal if i give cow i just want to get a, a output as a domestic animal i if i give dog i need to get it as a domestic animal now if i give tiger what is an output okay so i am giving some examples in order to get that thing see now also we have given a tiger so i got the example i mean the answer according to my perspective so based upon my requirement so i got a answer category wild animal so because we are training the model with a few examples so from this training itself it will generate the new output and one more uh, thing email tone let us go with the email tone so email uh, based upon the text it will give the tone whether it is an angry or appreciative or uh, sad or anything else so for this also i am giving a few examples and finally i am asking the question see first one i am very disappointed with your service so if the email consists of this kind of uh, text the tone is uh, angry and if the email consists of uh, thank you for your quick response then the result will be appreciative and if the email consists of the content like please send me the details by tomorrow it's a polite request now based upon the these three above examples i need to know the tone of a email with i am looking forward to our meeting next week so let us check see excited or a positive anticipation i am looking forward to our meeting next week okay right and the next one tagline generation tagline generation so if i give a product if i give a product i need a tagline see for this you can go with a yeah uh, tagline for coffee shop see i'm give, getting a lot of taglines here okay if i give tagline for coffee sh coffee shop i'm getting a lot of taglines so instead of getting all those uh, 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 bulk of information i'm giving a few examples see a few example coffee shop wake up to happiness if, if the product is online learning app learn anywhere anytime and eco friendly bottle save water save earth now according uh, based upon the three above examples i want to get a tagline for a pickles traditional andhra so if i give this one i'll get see the taste the tradition in every bite i will get only one tagline because in the above examples 
I am giving a product name and I am getting a only one tagline in the similar way whenever you give the product name it will return only one tagline so based upon the previous results and the next one last one factor extraction see uh, here some information we are giving the first one text Albert Einstein was born in 1879 in Germany the fact Albert Einstein birth year 1879 birthplace Germany okay so I need to extract the information from the given data right like birth year birthplace and name so the next uh, uh, the last one I am giving the input Isaac Newton formulated the laws of motion in 1687. Now, if I give this one, I will get the information Isaac Newton formulated laws of motion in 1687. It does not uh, find out with a birth year. So, it will extract some information and it will give that information, major information, important information from the given example. So, in this first example, you can see Albert Einstein the birth year and birthplace. In example 2, the Eiffel Tower was built in 1889 in Paris. So the, the fact is Eiffel Tower built 1889 and location is Paris. And now from the last one, the input Isaac Newton formulated the laws of motion in 1687. So the main part is uh, the person, the scientist name Isaac Newton formulated laws of motion and in the year 1687. So like this. So, if you want to get the output in a desired format, so in your customized format, then we need to give some examples along with the instruction so that the AI model will analyze the examples given by the user and it will produce the output for the instruction in the similar way. Okay, so if it is a zero shot prompt, there will be no example, only instruction will be given. If it is a one shot prompt, along with the instruction, only one example will be given. But if it is a few short prompts, along with the instruction, there will be more than one examples. So it would be good practice if you give more two to five examples. Okay, more than one and uh, not uh, more than five. Right? So, hope you understood uh, today's session, a few short prompts. So, let us stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed the session, like my session, share my session with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.